Okay, another day, another server review. These are just the first moments I've played on the newest realm released by Firestorm just today. And they finally released their own Shadowlands realm. As far as the experience rates go, I cannot tell you what they are right now. Because even on their website, they first claimed it's times three, I believe. Then today they claim it's times two, and then later on, like an hour later, they claimed it's times 1.5. So, I guess they have a really bad web designer person working for them that cannot make their mind or I don't know what's the issue, but you cannot find out what are the current XP rates. I know they streamed a Q&A on their YouTube channel. And I think they mentioned it's either times two or times three, so I don't know why the newest info is times 1.5 right now. Yeah, the first time I logged in was like a half hour after the release. I had to unzip the downloaded files and shit, and that took an hour. But the info on the website back then was it is times two PV server or a boss. Uh, now an hour later, it was it is times 1.5. So I don't know where the truth is, but anyway, let's move on. Overall, I'm not disappointed and I'm not surprised. It is pretty much what I expected from Firestorm. I didn't expect 100% perfection, no bugs, no issues, but they did a really good job and I expected it to be a pretty solid experience, which it was. I found a couple bugs. I will also be showing you the population numbers as the day goes on from the minute it launched all the way up until like two to three hours post release. At the release the numbers were 2000 people online and uh, after two hours it increased up to over 3000. Of course we have to uh, Realized that the launch was at 10 a.m. European time on Monday, which means you cannot expect high numbers of population at that time But even then 2k people online is incredible the number of people I saw in Elwyn When I first logged in there was nobody so I expect uh, most of the people to be already in the mall and leveling in the Shadowlands zones um, since the characters have been all copied from Sethralis realm, which is their battle for Azeroth realm The quest line overall pretty much working as intended uh, very similar experience to What I saw on retail when Shadowlands launched originally a year ago One annoying bug that happened to me. I got into the mall. I logged out and when I logged back in, I was in uh, Borales, where my Hearthstone is. So that was a little bit annoying, but okay, it took me two minutes to get back to the mall. So that wasn't a big of an issue. The quests in the mall all worked pretty fine. I had no issues with that. Uh, I also tried queuing up for a battleground and arena skirmish. Um, I didn't get into Battleground and I noticed there's uh, also it shows you the number of players in the queue, which is a great thing. I don't know if that's something new on retail, but when I when I used to play on retail on 9.0, it wasn't there back then. So I don't know if it's custom for Firestorm or it came with 9.1 on retail as well. So that's a nice thing to see you will not be able to level through BGs on Firestorm like I was able to on retail Shadowlands. I queued up for an arena skirmish and I got into an arena. Uh, you'll see at the end of this video. Unfortunately, my opponent was solo. His partner didn't enter the arena. So we were 2v1. So I asked my partner to let me 1v1 him. Um, I didn't expect him to let me and he didn't <laughs> so So uh, it's pretty annoying when people don't listen to you as far as questing 
as soon as you get to Bastion, you can expect world PvP and you can expect to have a really tough time if you're Alliance because of course there's more Horde than there is Alliance. That means Horde will be waiting there for you and will be ready to kill you as soon as you show up. It happened to me, suddenly when you see there are more Hordes than the Alliance, uh, Hordes are very confident and will want a world PvP all of a sudden. One annoying thing, my ability Wake of Ashes suddenly disappeared. I couldn't find it in my spellbook, even though I looked numerous times. I relogged, didn't help. Uh, then what I came up with was that I would create a macro for the ability. So I uh, made a macro with show tooltip and everything, and it worked. So I fixed it for myself, creating a macro for Wake of Ashes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use the spell at all. But you cannot expect an average player to come up with something like that, of course. There was supposed to be an NPC in Bastion the first time you fly in, but it was nowhere to be found. I think either hordes killed him, which I don't think would be the case. I don't think they are able to. Uh, most likely some alliance or some player before me took the quest and the NPC runs with you when you take the quest. So probably the NPC ran with him and uh, didn't spawn for me yet. But later when I finished the skirmish and came back, the NPC was there, so I was good to go. And one last thing, Firestorm claims there is there was around 3,000 people when I played. I didn't really see many people around me leveling and doing stuff. Even though there were supposedly a lot of people around my level range. Um, I don't know if Firestorm has layering. For those of you who don't know, layering is a mechanism where um, to make it easier for the, for the latency on the server and stuff like that, you will not be able to see all the players in game. There will be a number of layers uh, within which you will see other players, so that there's less pressure on the server. So I don't know if uh, that's a thing that Firestorm uses. I guess they do, and that's the reason why I don't see very many players around me. But that's really annoying because I would be happy if I saw like uh, one or two players around me in zones which should be full of people right now. Yeah, and the last thing that was really annoying me and that pretty much led me to log out was after the hordes killed me, I couldn't resurrect. So I was there, stuck, dead, trying to accept the resurrection and I couldn't. This is a bug that I'm very familiar with on Firestorm back from five years ago when I used to play Legion there. The resurrection button would more likely not work than it would work. So unfortunately that's a bug that keeps occurring on Firestorm and is super annoying. So you cannot afford to be a bad player and die. Or in other words, you cannot afford to be Alliance in a world PvP situation. From the start when I first logged in, I had delay issues. There was like half a second delay to cast any spell for some time after the release. But it seems to have been fixed later. But I don't know, I might have just gotten used to it. In the slash who, you can see there are a few people level 60 an hour after the release of the server. Which makes no sense. And I'm worried about the realm becoming pay to win, just like Battle for Azeroth was. Where they got rid of the character auction that existed previously and instead they gave you straight up the ability to buy items. Oftentimes these were best in slot items that you could buy at their shop for real life money. And this was one of the main reasons why I left Firestorm and BFA because I love the character auction and getting rid of that and instead giving us the opportunity to buy super expensive items on their shop I guess good for their business because they made more money but it just completely destroyed the entire notion of MMORPG where you're supposed to 
play and get the items yourself or at least be able to play on a character which then you can sell or trade for another character that was played by someone else. These have been the first two hours after the release of the newest Shadowlands Realm on Firestorm. This is my experience. It is the only choice you have if you want to play Shadowlands expansion on a private server. But if you like to play any other expansion than Shadowlands on private servers, then I guess uh, you'd be better off playing something else, honestly. And I myself, I don't think I will stick around for too long. I will try to level up to max and maybe try some endgame, but I don't know if I can manage to do that. And I almost forgot, there was not a single crash from the release of the realm. So, bravo Firestorm. Okay, fuck this.